people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting to the test the brand new Jeffree Star Blood Lust Palette. I am so happy that I got my hands on this. I actually sat on the website when it turned on, um, time to get it and then when it came to it, it didn't even sell out. So I didn't even need to. Um, this retails for, I think it's like four, no, I think it's 52, 50 pound. Um, it is a beautiful packaging. It's all crushed velvet. Um, it's got like the little imprint here, you'll have all seen anyway. It's all over the internet and there's a little clasp to open it. And then when you open it up, it just looks like this. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this eye look here. Um, so if you want to see how I create this look and my thoughts on the palette, then just keep on watching. And if you are new here, then I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these in the future. I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays at 6 o'clock UK time. And I hope to see you in my next video. Let's just get straight into the tutorial. I'm going to be starting with Bullard Queen and just taking a really, really small brush just to pack that right into the crease. I've got my P. Louise base on, ready to go. To begin with, I'm just pushing in little circular motions into the crease. I'm actually keeping this as kind of like a rounded eye because I'm going to do a spotlight eye as you can see on this one. So I'm not going to take it all the way out, I'm just kind of putting it in smaller on the inner part of my eye because then when we bluff, bluff, when we bluff, when we buff that out, obviously then it will go um, out into this bit as well but obviously all nice and blended and beautifully. And then going in with little circular motions, I'm just blending the outer edge but not blending it too far up because we're going to be going in with more colours to kind of blend that out. I'm now going to take the shade Vivid Moon and I'm going to go in with a slightly bigger fluffier brush but not too much bigger um, as you can probably tell and then I'm taking that shade just to blend that darker shade out once again just really really small circular motions and then I'm going back in with the darker shade just to darken it all up again and I'm also going to focus this on the outer part of the eye and also the inner part but then leave this little bit here um kind of blank because I'm going to put a bit of concealer over that anyway to um do the spotlight eye and then taking the shade deviant and again with a slightly bigger fluffier brush than last time I'm going to use this to kind of blend out the outer edge of the eye and I'm going in again with just a little bit more of that um, Blood Queen just to deepen up a little bit before we do our spot by eye. For this I'm taking just a little bit of the P. Louise base on a small kind of concealery brush and I'm going to start at the bottom here and then look up to see how high it will go and then kind of drag that down. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer off the brush which is just a little bit too much for my liking and I'm going to kind of pat that out as well. Now I'm going to go in with the same brushes that we did for like the crease, I'm not adding any extra product to them, I'm going to start with the darker shade and blend this on the outer edge, kind of getting it all to blend together if that makes sense. Then I'm going to take the brush that has Vivid Mood on it and do the same thing, once again working my way inward. And then the same with the shade Deviant as well. I'm going to put a little bit just around this top bit because I don't want it to be as crazy of like a cut crease kind of spotlight, if that makes sense. I want it to be more like kind of just glittery and just wow kind of thing. So to make the glittery roundness, I'm going to be taking this bad boy, which is Pink Magic, and I'm going to put this all over and then tap the middle part of the spotlight eye with Wet Jewel here. And I'm just taking a Benefit Cream Shadow Brush to do this. I'm using one side of the brush to pick up the darker um, glitter and then I'm going to use like the side of the other one to kind of tap the lighter one in the middle. This is with um, no like setting spray on the brush, literally just on the brush and like it is just, just wow. Like it is actually a beautiful glitter and this palette has amazed me. But we will talk more about that in a moment. And then taking kind of the side of the brush, I'm going to go in with the lighter glitter. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of my finger for this one as well, because I just find it gets it right in the middle perfectly. And this is just the shade Wet Jewel. Sorry, I totally went off camera there. <laughs> this is just the shade Wet Jewel. I'm going to add a little bit more to this side as well. 
like these oh my god these glitters this palette is just wow so i finished the rest of my makeup so far and before i put my lashes on um, i want to do my eyeshadow for underneath the eye so i'm going to go in with that blood queen shadow the darkest one and i'm going to concentrate this really really tight to the lash line and I'm just using the exact same brush that I used last time. So I'm going to go in with the slightly bigger one and with the shade of Vivid Moon, which is the um, second um, darker shade that we use. And again, just kind of use this to blend out the darker shade. And then using the other bigger fluffier brush and the shade Deviant or Deviant. I think it's Deviant. I think I said that wrong the first time. And I use that to then blend out the edges again like so and then just kind of all ties it all together i'm gonna put my lashes on and then we'll have a little chat about what i think of these eyeshadows so this is the finished look i am not gonna lie i'm actually obsessed um, and in case you're wondering as well i've got cork lip liner and um, flesh pot lipstick from mac and um, the lip liner's from mac as well and then i've got a little bit of doll beauty's hashtag insta famous lip gloss on as well because i know a lot of you've been asking me recently what kind of um lipstick i've been wearing in videos this is it i've actually got a tutorial coming soon of the rest of my makeup as well um it'll be like a first impressions video so keep an eye out for that if you want to see how i created the rest of my look and how i kind of did this little um lipstick trio thing that i've got going on because it's good but anyways i thought i'd just have like a little overview of the palette the palette packaging is just next level it came in the beautiful box which just looks like this a bloodlust palette um you can just tell that he's put like so much effort into the packaging um it's, it feels expensive i mean it's crushed velvet for god's sake um it's not i'm not gonna lie it wouldn't normally be a shadow range that i would typically pick up but i think for somebody um who just loves makeup i think they'll just appreciate the packaging like i do but also it just looks amazing on green eyes which is what i've kind of got i think um should we peel this a little bit off yeah so this is obviously just what it looks like the mirror is a really really good mirror it's quite a heavy palette so i don't know if i'd actually really hold it unless i was desperate to but the mirror is there if you need it if you're traveling it's a really good mirror the actual eyeshadows themselves are so pigmented like this shimmery formula that he's got like this glittery like formula is just next level i haven't actually put my fingers in any of the colors so let's do this i'm going to actually use like what i've actually got on my fingers right um like my eyes right now and we want to try this executing a what oh my god like the the pigmentation oh my god it's just like it's just next level it's just oh. and i've never i mean i obviously i own the jeffree star in shane palette but that was the first ever palette that i have from jeffree and um, so this is like my first ever one like just officially from jeffree's brand and not like a collab and i kind of thought why am i spending so much money on this palette but it's so worth it if you want me to do more videos and more tutorials on this, then please let me know because there's so many different colours that I can get my hands into. Like, I really want to try this Vile Serpent one and the Bleeding Heart one. Let's see what that one's like. Because that one's, like, shimmery too. I love the little imprints that he's done. There's, like, a really good periwinkle kind of shade. Oh, that's stunning. It actually looks more matte. Oh, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. But yeah, I can definitely do some more tutorials on this if that's something that you are interested in. Um, just give it a little comment down below and a thumbs up. Um, so yeah, that is my overall kind of views and my little tutorial on the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays at 6 o'clock UK time. So I'll hopefully see you on one of them days. Thank you so much for watching. If you are wondering what lashes I've got on, these are the EXO Beauty from Shan EXO's um, lash line. And these are in the style Rebel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you on my next update. I can't spit my words out. Bye guys. <laughs>